So now we are moving into percent of change. Tying it back to what we just did, the percent of change would be kind of the same thing as your markup or your discount. It's how much the original amount is changing. About. So percent of change is always going to equal the difference in the two amounts over the original amount, and then we're just going to convert it to a percent. So obviously if the original amount goes up, that's going to be called a percent increase. If the original amount goes down, that's going to be a percent decrease. Beth bought a $75 pair of jeans for $60. We want to find the percent change and classify it as increase or decrease. Okay, guys, we can classify it from the very beginning. If the price went from $75 to $60, that's a percent decrease. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Now, to find what the actual percent of decrease is, so this would be like the percent discount, whatever was on the sign at the store where it says, 30% off or 25% off. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to find the difference in the two amounts first. So we're going to subtract 75 and 60, which would give us 15. And we always want to put that over the original amount. So what was the first price of the G? 75. Yeah, so we're going to put 15 over 75. And then we're just going to change that to a percent. So where do we get 15 from? You subtract the two. So 75 minus 60 would give us $15. That's the difference in the two amounts. All right, so if I want to change 15 over 75 into a percent, what would I do with those two numbers first? Divide them. So 15 divided by 75 would give us 0.2. Which is 20%. And that's the same thing as 20%. So that would be a 20% decrease in price. That's the percent of the discount. Is there like a bunch of Wait. This one, not so much. You pretty much have to subtract them first every time, divide that by the original, then change it to a percent. No, we were supposed to have a formative on this tomorrow, but since I'm not going to be here to teach my third block today, I'm going to push that formative to Monday. So tomorrow we'll kind of like review and ask questions about this stuff. Okay. So a few more examples where we're finding that percent change, percent decrease or percent increase. If John went from weighing 140 pounds to 155 pounds, first of all, is that going to be a percent increase or decrease? Increase. Increase. His weight is going up. Okay, what do we always do with the two numbers first when we're finding the percent change? Subtract. Subtract. So what's the difference between 140 and 155 pounds? Negative 15. It's, yeah, you can have it as negative 15 or positive 15. It doesn't matter as long as you're able to tell whether it's an increase or a decrease, okay? So like obviously if you got negative 15, that means that we should have an increase. Mm -hmm. What? Negative 15. Yeah. So that 15 needs to go over the original. Oh, wait. What was his original weight? 140. 140. Yeah, it is a percent increase, y'all. Because his weight went up. Well, when you divide 15 by 140, you get like a really long. Okay, we might get a really long decimal. That's okay. So when I divide 15 by 40. Wait, 107, 142. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Oh, I'm at 10. So, I did that wrong. It says to round to the nearest tenth of a percent when necessary. 
So we get 0. 0.107 after we round, which would be no, we're rounding to the tenth of a percent. So we're going to keep it with the tenths play. So if we move that decimal two times, we would get 10.7 percent. If it says round to the nearest tenth, you should have a tenths place in your answer. Wow. So you want to round? No. We had to round. Really, when we divided that in our calculator, we got 0.107, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. That's where it stops, okay? So if you move that decimal two times to make it into a percent, that 1 makes our 7 stay the same. So it rounds to 10.7%. No. It says to round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So that means you should have a tenth one. All right, the computer that sold for $815 last month sold for $925 this month. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so is this going to be a percent increase or decrease? Decrease. I mean, increase, increase, increase. Increase. The price has gone up. All right, first we always subtract our two numbers. So what would the difference between $925 and $815 be? 110. Okay. Let's just say we always put the absolute value of our difference in the numerator. Does that make sense? So if you get a negative number, just make it. All right, and we want to put that over the new price or the original price? The original. original. So what was the original price? 850. Okay. So if I divide 110 by 815, we get a long decimal again, 0.1349, I must stop there because I know I only need the tenths place when I change it to a percent. So I'm going to move my decimal two times to the right. So I've got 13.496 percent. And it wants me around to the tenths place. 13.5. Yeah, so that nine is going to make my four round up. It's going to be 13.5 percent. So I don't know if this is just a coincidence, but on the past two of uh, ones that we did, I divided the um the the new the new price by the uh the original price. And you find you find that answer like you find the, the thirteen point four nine six inside of the the, the answer you get for dividing uh, nine twenty five and eight fifteen. Okay. What? Question mark. What do you mean it's inside the answer? So like. Oh, I know. Like the de like the, the decimal part right there. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. It's in it's inside of the answer. Like this. Like it's one point one three four nine six. If you divide 9, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Right. They just need one extra. So you would be one extra. That would be 113.5. That would be 113.5. Yeah. Okay. Wrong answer. What? No, but it's just one decimal extra. Yeah, 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 Okay. Y'all, will you try number three and number four for me? And the answer is number three and number four. Don't worry about. Miss Bites, does does it matter what order we subtract them in? It doesn't. Just take the absolute value. Small minds are entertained by small things. Oh.
Yes, yeah, so I'm entertained by you small people. That's funny. That's real funny. Subtract our gallons, mm. so 25 and 31, the difference between those two would be 6. We put that over the original gallons, which was 25. We get 0.24, which is 24%. All right, guys, so once again, I'm going to stop the video here because we need to move on to simple interest. Okay, so go ahead and be turning to that page for me while I get our next video started. I am the car. 